I have two weapons in my brain dump arsenal. One is my digital way of recording things and one is my manual way of recording things. I will show you my book first because I think you're mostly familiar with it. Um, my book I use as a form of a bullet journal. Uh, I've just done a video on my setup the other day. I'm, I'm using a different case because it's getting a bit too chunky for my other case. Uh, but the insides are the same. And here is my brain dump book. Uh, I'm using Moleskine Cahiers because they feel nice and cheap and I don't mind using them up to just scribble full of notes. I tend to get these... Uh, grid ones or I've started using the Evernote books which are quite good nice paper but for my brain dump I use whatever cheap little notebook I can get in passport size and if that means buying a cheap little notebook that's 80p in the post office and cutting it down that's what I do I use the passport size because it fits better inside my little case and it means my pen isn't sticking out from the edge that's all it could just as easily be an ordinary book notebook and basically all I do is every morning I sit down with this I write the date and I put down what is in my head some days it will only be two or three things and other days it will be pages and pages and pages. I go through these books at a rate of knots. I can literally go through one in a week, which is why I keep to nice cheap little um, plain notebooks. I don't spend a lot of money on them and sometimes I just print out grid paper and stick it in loose leaf, which is what I've done here. The Brain Dump book is not meant to be organised. It's not meant to be pretty. It's not meant to be anything. It is just literally my brain on the page. Sometimes my brain is quite organized and I've been working through things and I've got just one or two things that I'm thinking, oh, I should do this, I should do that. And other days I've got a lot to write down. I've been known to do up to four or five pages. This was all one page. <laughs> All, all at the same time that's like five pages there uh, it really depends what's going on in my head and I I have a few rules about my brain dump first off I don't stop for anything um, so I don't think oh I'll just write that down somewhere else I don't go off and organize something i don't pop it on a sticky note to think oh i'll do that in in, an, in a minute i don't think oh uh, have i already written that down somewhere here oh i can't remember i don't stop once my head gets to that point where i just need to write everything down that's what i do now because i do this pretty much every day not always but Sometimes weekends I don't really have a lot to write down, but certainly during the week I have things I need to write down. And, you know, some days are busier than others in my head. What I tend to find is that the fuller my planner is that day, the less I'll have in here. And the more I have in here, the quieter my planner will be. Now there's a reason for that and I will talk about that in a moment. So rule one, just write it down. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter if it's a full word, if it doesn't matter if it's a full idea, if it's just, you know, halfway through writing something else you think, oh damn, I need to go and get some milk. So you write down milk and you carry on with your list. The only thing I do and purely because I've done it for so long is I always put a checkbox next to it. I don't really know why I do that because I don't really use the checkboxes, but I guess it just makes it easier to see where each item starts. Uh, and I do put stars for things that are really important. Um, 
I put arrows for things that are seriously important time sensitive stuff that I must 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 not forget to do and just for general notes I put a little dot so for instance um, I updated my blog yesterday and I found out that you can now put sidebars and widgets on the static front page of the blog which you never used to be able to do before I've been wanting to try and do that for ages and the reason I got rid of my static front page was because I couldn't do that now I can so I've put it in here so that it's there it's in front of me it's a reminder I don't suddenly remember it when I next go to update my blog it's there and I guess the way it works is it's kind of like a crock pot I throw in all the other ideas and different things bubble to the surface at different times and at some point in the future could be today could be tomorrow could be in three weeks time I will get a clear picture in my head because I think visually I will get a clear picture in my head of how I want my blog to look and at that point this will have been there as a reminder all the time and that will be part of how I do my blog I hope that makes sense it's just kind of throwing ideas out there making sure that I've got things in front of me that are a constant reminder so that my subconscious when it's working on whatever it's working on sorting through problems sorting through things that I need to do mulling things over letting things churn and bubble eventually I will say think ah I know what I can do with my blog front page and these two static bars will be part of that I hope that makes sense uh, all I do to organize this in any way is to draw a line and put the date and the only reason I do that is so that I can look back and say well how long ago did I write this down uh, so I've got stuff here that hasn't been finished or hasn't been attended to that's from August now I'm not looking at it in terms of oh god I, I put this down two weeks ago I haven't done it yet I might have done it I m might just have not marked it off in here but it's there as a reminder and periodically I flip back through my book and I think right what have I done what haven't I done what do I need to do again uh, what's important what needs to be moved forward uh, that, that kind of thing I will update notes if I feel that they need moving on so for instance I've got one here that says basic materials check setup well that's uh, a class thing I need to check that the basic materials stuff is all set up for what was last week actually so actually I've done week one I need to do week two so I'll put week one week two and I'll cross off week one that shows me that I've done week one and I now need to do week two so it's an updated note I don't bother with bringing it forward and writing it out again that's pointless it's already in my brain uh, if I happen to do a brain dump at some point and what naturally comes out is you know don't forget to do week two then as I'm flipping through I'll go oh I've got that written there as well I'll just cross that one out so I just cross out old duplicates anything that I've transferred to my planner I cross out so for instance uh, I've got some things here that I need to do for other people and you know contact them and email them and then do reviews on stuff that basically will be a couple of project pages that I will set up in my project notebook and say right I need to do this I need this 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 set it up as a checklist once I've done all that these will all get crossed out because that is then work in progress once it's in my planner it's considered work in progress and really that is all I do for my brain dump I just write everything down that's all it is it's clearing the clutter but it's making sure that I do it regularly because some days I wake up and I have too many ideas coming at me all at once and then I can't hear the everyday stuff for all the 
churning that's going on so you know those will be the days where I'll I'll write down like 15 or 16 different things and fill up five or six pages of stuff uh, you know I have days like that it's usually on a Monday morning actually when I've had the weekend off and I come back to work on a Monday morning and I'm like right hit the ground running brain dump and it you know all these ideas that have been churning around over the weekend just come flying out uh, so our Monday is is kind of the main brain dump morning for me and then I go through the list and I, t I sift out what I can do and put in my planner that I could do on a, a particular day, a particular date or whatever. Now if I'm on the go and I don't have my notebook with me or I can't be bothered to go and get my notebook or whatever I use Google Keep. It's a, a Google app Sorry for the screen wibbly thing. I can't do anything about that. Um, Google Keep is, it, it's very simple. It's just an app that's like sticky notes. Uh, it's very easy to do. You've got a sticky note, you've got a checklist, you've got a word memo or a voice memo, or you've got um, picture memos. So, if I need to remember something and I need to give it, put it in Evernote at some point, but I don't have my Wi-Fi, I'll just open this, take a photo, stick it in here, and then when I've got Wi-Fi and everything available, I will put it in Evernote. Um, and this is literally, you know, you you pick this. Um, I need to get milk and toilet rolls while I'm out. Uh, I'll put shop there. Uh, shopping I always put in red so I can find it and that's it. You don't even have to save it, it will just appear. It's there, it's on my phone, I can add a reminder to it, I can send it to Evernote, I can text it to somebody. I can do whatever I want with this from now. And I have one specific one that's called Brain Dump. And I just put down things that I think, oh, Oh, when I've got my notebook in front of me, I should put that down. Um, and sometimes the stuff that I put in my brain dump, like for instance, I found the jacket that I've been after in New Look, and I ordered that the other day, so I can tick that off. Um, Wednesday, I need to go and pick up my candles. I will need to arrange a trip into town, so I'll do that when I've got my planner. Uh, pet spray, I bought that the other day. Stationery for September, that's, yeah, that's a shopping thing. Uh, Gypsy needs a new collar. I keep forgetting to do that. I need to write that down in my book. That's actually I'm going to do that now. That's a good example of something that is I chucked it in here when I was thinking about stuff I needed to buy while I was in town. I was on the bus. I didn't have my book out and I just in here I just put Gypsy needs a new collar because I can't get Gypsy a collar or the collars that I like uh, in the local pet shop. I have to order it on Amazon. So Gypsy needs new collar. So that's now in this book. So when I'm home and I'm sitting in front of the computer and I'm flipping through my book, I can go, oh, ah, yes, I must do that. That's on Amazon. Uh, so I can tick that off there now. That's, that's done. I bought nail files the other day. So that's that brain dump cleared out. Uh, I, these are things that I need to do when I go into town, so I'll leave those there for now. Um, paper chase exercise books, I got those two. Purple ink, I got that, so that's all finished. Uh, those are still in progress. So this is my main brain dump. Same as this. Things that I need to do soon that are not time sensitive, but I need to do them fairly quickly. I put onto this one here, which is my soon list, which means I need to organize that to do soon. <laughs> That's an upcoming thing. And then I've got my someday maybe list, which is, yeah, I'll do that when I get around to it or when I can afford it. That's basically how that works and you can see how easy it is. Now this, it's part of Google Keep is, is part of Google Docs and it does back up automatically to your 
Google Docs and you can sign in with multiple accounts. So for instance, I've got all three of my accounts on here. So I've got a work section, I've got uh, stuff that I use for hobbies and study and I've got one that I just use for general personal stuff. I just It's there, I just swap to whatever account I need to do, use. I've got one there that's my shopping list, my food shopping, uh, just because it's easier to see and this is just my general brain dump one. So this is temporary, this is not, this is the equivalent of a sticky note when I don't have sticky notes because I always have my phone. No matter what else is going on, my phone is usually either in my hand or in my pocket. So even if I'm on the bus, I can get to my phone really quickly if I have an idea. So I'll link to that down below. It is a Google app, so as far as I know, it's available for just about anything. I've got it on my tablet, I've got it on my phone, I've got it on the computer. I'm pretty sure it works on iPhone and everything else. Um, it's a universal app and it's just like having a sticky note on your phone it's fantastic and it's the simplest easiest one I've found because you can either write it you can checklist it you can speak into the microphone you can take a photo and you don't even have to save anything you just close it down and it saves automatically it's just like a Google Doc so that's my two ways of capturing things and once I've captured it, I then filter it out. Now this is coming on to projects a little bit, which I'm going to talk about in November. Uh, Carrie, Harling, Miss Vicky B and myself are all doing projects in November. And part of my project setup is I've got a miniature GTD system. The GTD system is quite a well-known system getting things done a lot of people use it I do it on these little sticky notes so I've just got a list of projects that I want to uh, if I've written a project in here and at some point soon I want to get it sorted out into a proper project and do a proper list I'll cross it off here I'll put it on my projects list here so that I remember uh, these are things that I'm doing oh yes I'm, I'm gonna you know, I've done that, I've I'll cross that off, oh yes, I'm, I'm writing that up, oh yeah, I need to set up a page for that, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I do use my bullet journal checklists again. These things are stuff that I'm, I've already got work in progress, so I've, I've partly copied them, crossed them through. Um, tasks that I need to do but are not vitally important to do right now, but do need to be done like for instance buying Gypsy a new collar that needs to be done because her current collar doesn't fit her very well it's got a little bit too tight she's put on weight yay um, so I that would be an example of something that I would immediately transfer into that things to do list so this is just things that I'm thinking about what's on my mind what is taking up space in my brain? This is where I actually say, right, is it something to do now? Is it something to do later? Is it something to do maybe? Is it something that I need to pay for? That kind of stuff. This is just to get it out of my brain. So if you think about it in terms of a big filter, um, let me grab a piece of paper because I think better on paper. Uh, no, I use one of these, I just chuck these out because they're old ones, but um, my brain dump is everything that is going on in my brain from don't forget to buy milk to here's an idea for a painting to oh Gypsy needs to be booked in for such and such to Maddie needs a claws clipping uh, you know anything anything like you know what while I'm doing something else even I will think oh I must write that down and I will go off and do it here's another one I need to clear out my receipts and I've thought about that because it's stuck there in front of me and I'm looking at those receipts and it's bugging me. So rather than thinking, oh, I'll go off and do that now. See, I could get distracted. 
if I was doing this and it wasn't for a video and I was just making some notes, I could think, oh yeah, I need to do that. I could go off and do this and then I'll forget this and then I get distracted and I go off and, and things get half finished. So instead of doing that, I just write it in my brain dump book and I'll worry about it later. That leaves my brain free for processing. Um, so everything goes into here. Doesn't matter what it is, everything goes in. Uh, it could be repeats, it could be stupid stuff, it could be ridiculous information, it could be don't forget to, I don't know, record Criminal Minds on October the 1st, you know. It can be anything, absolutely anything. Uh, anything that uh, anything that is in my head that needs to be not in my head because it's cluttering up the place so if you think about it in terms of uh, organisation this is pre-organisation so if you're going to organise your wardrobe okay, you don't immediately start hanging things up on hangers and pulling things up and organising this you, know, you don't do that the first thing you do is you get all the clothes you own and you separate them all onto the bed and you say right this is everything then you go through it and you say right actually that could do with washing that could do with going to the dry cleaners that could do with a button sewing back on whatever then you organize it and then when you're finished you tidy it all up and you put it in its place the brain dump is the equivalent of taking all your clothes out of the wardrobe and chucking them on the bed okay and it you know it might be one evening shoe <laughs> it still goes on the bed you can worry about finding the other one later you've got the shoe it goes on the bed and then when you find that shoe again on the bed when you're going through things then it becomes a task find the other shoe or throw this shoe out because I've been looking for this one because I already threw out the other one which is what usually happens to me so this is kind of just throwing it all in then I filter it out so it will be filtered out into areas and this is the equivalent let me write it on here. So this is throw clothes on bed. <laughs> okay, that's this bit there. And then I will filter it out. Does it need to be a project? Do I need to set it up as a checklist? Is it something I need to buy or pay money for? Is it something that needs to be scheduled? Uh, am I waiting on something? Am I not bothered and it could, you know, it could be someday maybe? I'm just using these as examples because these are the ones I've got sticky notes for. I have other sections that I will filter things out into. This is the equivalent of your keep bin Recycle, clean, mend. Okay, anybody who's done Fly Lady will recognise that. Once I've got it all organised into there, then it becomes a project. Or it becomes something to be scheduled to go in my journal or it becomes something that I need to put on my waiting for list so that in a week's time I remember to chase such and such and say hey did you do that list because I'm still waiting for it and they say no I haven't done it yet and you go okay no problem and I will refer defer that until later in the month or next month or I put it in my journal as um, you know chase them up at the end of November whatever so this is where each individual thing gets organised so this is actually D 
the organised tasks. So um, I would take each one of these individually to organise. So when I mend stuff, um, things to sew, things to um, iron, things to put buttons or clips on, things that might need elastic, that kind of thing. Clean, uh, dry clean, wash, hand wash, polish, that kind of stuff. And that becomes my checklists. Just as you know, doing a project for a video, you know, I would have filmed the video, edit the video, upload the video, schedule the video, do the blog post, check it all up, does it all work, etc. And then that becomes um, a completed thing that is finished and I put it in my journal as a completed item. Cross it off, close it down, move the file away the project pages, whatever, and that is the equivalent of putting it all away again. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Um, I've used the closet idea because that's how most people do their closets. Uh, that's what I do as a major project brain dump when I need a really big brain dump on a Monday morning or when I've got a new project happening or whatever. And I do this in terms of not just a brain dump of everything, but also if I need to do a brainstorm for an idea, that's more coming up with ideas. Brain dumping is more, I've already got the ideas and I need to get them out of my head and put them on paper. Um, Dumbledore's pen sieve, where he takes things out of his head and puts them in his pen sieve so he's got more room to remember things. Yeah, it's like that. It's like a backup drive. <laughs> okay. Um, so that you can do the processing in your brain, just like you take stuff off your laptop and you put it on your, in the cloud, or you put it on an external hard drive or whatever, so that your computer is freed up to do the main work. My brain works like that. That's that's what works for me. Um, and like I say, I don't just do this as one major project, although I do do it as one major project. I do it all the time. Literally, while I'm in the middle of doing something else, I think, oh, I'll just write that down. Because if it pops up in my head, as something so I'm doing it now I'm thinking I better write this up as a PDF so that's what I'll do I'll PDF brain dump there you go it's done I don't have to think about that again because later I'll look at my book and I'll go oh yeah I was going to type that up properly so they could see it anything that pops up in my head that is interrupting the flow of what I'm doing now goes in my brain dump book I hope that makes sense. Um, it's very difficult because brain dumping isn't really a system for me. The system comes after the brain dump. The brain dump is putting everything into the system. You know, it's ch it's it's getting all your food out ready to cook. You know, and then you know, you wash your apples or you, you peel your onions or you chop your onions and you fry your onions and, you know, that's the tasks that you need to do to get to the end result. But first of all, you need to put on your list, buy onions. <laughs> and that's where your brain dump comes from. Yeah, so there you go. That's That's how I do my brain dump. I just... If it's in my head and if it's getting in the way of what I'm trying to think about, it goes on paper and I worry about it later. The end. <laughs>